next update about the Type 17. As you can see, she's uh, primed already. Just the basic code. I still have to add the uh, welding line, mm -hmm. there, but it's fun to see. And it shows me the opportunity to look uh, where I've got spots would have to rework with filler. I'll start at the back. It's the rear end. By using these rods, I can move them. I hope I can show that that way. If you slide the rods, they're all moving. Did the same trick with this one. Flying. I uh, chosen the sliding action because uh, I have to add some profile on the wings. As you can see, there's little room to get that uh, done. Still loose in the back end. Here you've got three rods which I have to attach from the inside. Not sure if I have enough room to get inside, but I can place a, a hatch underneath, out of sight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is the exhaust tube. It's part of my locking mechanism for locking the top part. Uh, with the 7 type I've got uh, a locking device at the rear and at the front there's a little screw hole on the, underneath one of the hatches and therefore you need a screwdriver or other tool and which you eventually will lose when you're near the water so I decided to go for another kind of locking mechanism I'll show that to you guys put the cam down Clean towel loose. I'll take this part off. The front locking device is now free. I hope you can see that there's a little handle underneath so you can stick your finger in it. And when I slide the top part, you can see the little tube over here. It will fit inside this tube. Those tubes over there are the receivers for this mechanic. If you pull on it, they will retract. If you let them go, those pins will be inserted inside the tubes. So you only need one hand to do it by the hatch. So if I open it up, I hope it works with one hand put it down on the ground. If I pull, they retract. If I let go, they will lock. Simply close the hatch and that's it. So, I put it back. Well, rather difficult with one hand. But. And then, you take this one, you let it go, and it's locked. The tower! She's primed. Just the basic code. I have to add uh, the welding line. Uh, I've added some extra features. Like a little door over here. And a little door on the other side. This one you already know. Can be opened also. Let's see if it will work. Can also be opened. And I added for the fun part the antennas. There will be an antenna lift inside for extending and retracting the antennas when needed. Also added a late style sonar device. It's the same uh, principle as with uh, this device over here. So it's all uh, fastened by uh, one screw over here. I have to search for a little pin. This type of U-boat doesn't have float holes on the water, except these ones. And some uh, vent holes 
like this one and this one. What I do this, what I did was send cells over here. So I placed a little X between so when you put her in the water it will open, letting the water in, and then you push the boat out of the water, no, pull the boat out of the water, it will open and you will lose the water again. So it's a good solution. I already made uh, this this uh, couple and uh, on the rear side there's also uh, the same uh, thing. And then you've got this. A uh, special kind of wing. It's a stabilizing wing. They had some issues with uh, the boat at low speeds. It was unstable. So they added a wing that then can rotate. So at low speeds it's extended. And at high speeds you don't need the wing anymore and it will turn in. I hope to make that functional even uh, related to the speed. So at slow speeds it has to be extended and when I'm speeding up it has to retract. But I'll have to see about that. I think that will be next year problem. Also added the bowlers, the bowlers where you can extend them by hand. Now they can uh, make it tight to the shore with cables and you can push them back gently so they become flush with the deck like that. All hatches are made functional. You can open them up. Have to look for a screwdriver. I'll take one. Like that. Can be opened. I managed to get them all functional. Just, uh, just for the fun. It doesn't have any function, but it's possible this skill, so I did it. So, I put the towel back for the total view. So there's uh, a lot of work done ah, the tail. The idea was of make, to, make a, to make a kind of connection with it, but I'm not sure if I'd want to do that. I think uh, gluing it tight will be the best solution. So. I still have to add more details to the tower and to the upper deck. So I know the weight and then I can calculate uh, the ballast tank. And I think possibly it will be inserted underneath the tower or in the middle of the boat. Let's see about that. And then I can uh, fit some uh, things uh, inside. So. This is the progress uh, so far. So if there are any questions, don't hesitate. Just ask. Until next time.